Jim Boynton, 3565 FM 2843, Salado. Uh, there's, no, there's no doubt that myself and the mayor and Mr. Cox about six months ago went to see about all the problems down there with the apartments and the triplex. The mayor and I stood there and looked at some shoddy construction. He pointed it out. I pointed it out. We're all aware of it. We have not addressed that since then. I've invited a couple of other members and they haven't, they've committed to come a year ago and we've not gone to look at it at all. Last week, an inspector for Austin that worked with us through the fire department was over there delivering some material for his brother-in-law and he called another fireman buddy of mine and it relayed it back to me. He claims that's probably the worst construction job he's ever seen. We haven't addressed the roads that are 16 foot wide. Uh, Jason Graham has asked the former city manager to send a letter, a strongly worded letter. I haven't seen the letter. There's no retaining walls. They've Deacon Bell told me last year he was going to come look. I told him that they piled dirt eight foot behind Brett's fence. Jason Graham's seen it. I know he has because he told me he did. They stacked up dirt behind this house. And, and Deacon Bell tells me he doesn't realize, even though it's slanted towards Brett's property, that the water's going to run off because he's not an engineer. That, that is exactly what he told me when I tried to get him to come over and take a look. That water is going to get on that street and funnel straight down and hit that flat property and the property to the west and flood them. But we have people paying taxes and they can't even get anything done or even any response from anybody. I heard about five or six people last week speak that Bert Henry is the only guy that will respond to it. If y'all don't want to be on the council, y'all don't want to respond to the citizens. You know, Council Member Cox, no less than five times while we're riding around, was not so much interested in listening to the problems that I see right there. He was telling me what a great deal it was to get all this free tax money from Mustang Springs, and no less than six or eight times he told me there was a council member on the council who's a convicted felon three times over with an expunged record. That's not true. I didn't tell you that. that yes, you did. No. You, that's okay. that's you okay. certainly told me that. I'm not okay. a liar. If you want to call me a liar, come on over here and call me one. You did say it. You said it to others. Time's up. Thank you for your comment.